There are currently more than two million people incarcerated in this country, and the United States now has the highest rate of incarceration in the world. The problem of mass incarceration directly translates into a problem of prisoner reentry. With over 700,000 individuals being released from prison each year, we've got a huge population that is struggling to find work and to reintegrate into society. What I wanted to do was to find out how the effect of a criminal record might influence people's chances of finding a job and how that process may differ depending on the race of the job applicant. We know that ex-offenders have, on average, poor employment outcomes, but we know very little about why. Uh, ex-offenders have low levels of schooling, they have little or spotty work experience. On average, ex-offenders are more likely to have problems with substance abuse and mental illness. All of these things can contribute to having trouble finding and keeping a steady job. And so in order to isolate the effect of a criminal record from all of these other associated characteristics, I turn to uh, an experiment. So specifically, I'm using what's called an experimental audit study. And the, des the basic design of an audit involves sending matched pairs of job applicants, who are also referred to as testers, to apply for real job openings in order to see how employers respond to otherwise equally qualified applicants who differ only according to their selected characteristics, in this case, according to their race or criminal background. I hired a pair of young white men and a pair of young black men and for each pair, I randomly assigned one individual in the pair a criminal record. What this means is none of the young men in the study who are posing as job applicants actually had criminal records in real life. But for the purposes of these applications, they communicated to employers that they had a felony conviction. Most job applications have a question on the application form that asks, have you ever been convicted of a felony? So the testers, when applying for these jobs, checked the box, yes, I have been convicted of a felony, and explained their conviction that they'd spent 18 months in prison and that they'd just been released in the previous month. Then each week the applicant pair alternated who presented himself as having the criminal record. And this is important that we were able to randomly assign the criminal record to testers because if there was anything about the individual testers that might have made them more or less appealing from one another, we didn't want that to be confounding the effect of the criminal record. So we tried to match the testers on every dimension possible that we could think of. But if there was something that we didn't notice or that we, that we left out, this ability to randomly assign the criminal record meant that each tester served in the criminal record condition for an equal number of cases. So looking first at the outcomes for white testers, we see that about 34% of whites with no criminal record received a callback or job offer, compared to just 17% of whites with a criminal record. So we see that a criminal record reduces employment opportunities by about 50%. In the case of black testers, 14% of those with no criminal background received a callback or job offer, relative to just 5% of blacks with a criminal record. When we compare the outcomes of the black and white testers side by side, what's most striking is the direct effect of race on the outcomes of these young men. A black applicant with no criminal background received callbacks or job offers at about half the rate of an equally qualified white applicant. But the most surprising finding was really related to blacks with no criminal background relative to whites with a felony conviction. We find that a white applicant with a felony conviction fared just as well, if not better, relative to a black applicant with a clean record. This suggests that being black in America today is essentially like having a felony conviction in terms of one's chances of finding employment. The massive expansion in the criminal justice system has not affected all groups equally. Today's system of incarceration is characterized by large racial disparities. About 12% of young black men are incarcerated at any given time, compared to less than 2% of young white men. About one in three young black men will spend time in prison at some point during his lifetime. And for young black male high school dropouts, that figure is close to 60%. So incarceration is becoming an increasingly common event in the life course trajectory of young disadvantaged men. These results point to the incredibly large and lingering effects of direct racial discrimination in this country, and in fact point to the criminal justice system as an important mechanism of stratification among young black men today. The United States has engaged in this grand experiment with the buildup of mass incarceration, but very little thought went into what happens when these people come out. We know that finding quality, steady employment is the number one predictor of whether or not an individual returns to prison after having been released. So if we want to keep these individuals crime-free, if we want to keep them from returning to prison, 
finding, helping ex-offenders find employment is a number one priority. One thing we could do is to ban the box. That essentially means removing the question from application forms that asks applicants about their criminal record. What this does is to allow job applicants to make a personal impression on employers before being judged on the basis of their criminal record. In my study, the testers who actually had a chance to talk to employers and get to know them before revealing their criminal record had much better employment outcomes. Employers had a chance to get to know them based on their actual qualifications before ruling them out on the basis of that single characteristic. If we care about poverty and racial inequality, we need to think about the criminal justice system and the large numbers of young men being released into communities bearing the mark of a criminal record. We need to find these young men jobs.